let it check out right here, bro. OD39 coming back to the Lakers. You know, I'm going to say this. I'm going to say this. I think this is the most important signing for the Lakers. I feel like this is the most important signing for the Lakers. And I know they got like Russ Weber, they got Carmelo, you know what I'm saying? But in a league where defense is undervalued, in a league where defense is undervalued, what Dwight Howard is going to bring to them around the rim. And I want to say this too. The whole super team thing. Rise with a boy. The whole super team thing. I want to, I want, I want y'all to realize this. Y'all say LeBron James start him, but he always, he answers the door. You know what I'm saying? Are you live on the Twitch? Yeah, only on Twitch. Only on Twitch. Um, he answers the door. You know what I'm saying? Like, the Celtics got KG, Ray Allen, Paul Pierce, right? So he went and got D-Wade and Chris Bosh. You know what I'm saying? Last year, last year beginning of the season, there were no super teams, right? So he felt like, hey, me and AD, we could do this by ourselves. I thought my Facebook stuff was messing up. No, 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 no Facebook. I'm a, I want to talk about this real quick. Then I'm gonna go stream something. Really, I'm a. Uh, I think I think P asked me to come play Call of Duty with him. So I think later I probably don't call Duty P. But uh, only answers the door. So at the beginning of this season, there's a super team out, right? There is Kyrie. There's um, James Harden and there's um, KD all on the same team. So once again, he's answering the door. He said, "You know what, man? We got double back. We got to get the thing together." I I hate the scrutiny. I'm not even a LeBron James like I hate the scrutiny because I mean he's not out getting people. Trading for people all the time. It's like, what the league got going on? Let me answer the doorbell of the league. And that's what he did. So the most influential pickup of the offseason for the Los Angeles Lakers was signing this man right here back. Was getting this man right here back on the roster. Why I say that? Because defense is undervalued. And with him protecting the rim, you got to you gotta understand it. Last time they won a championship, this man was on the team. This man, like, this man single-handedly shut down a joker. You know what I'm saying? He, this man single-handedly shut down the Joker. So when we get to talking about the Lakers and their success, it is circled around this man right here. He's the heart and soul. You know what I'm saying? He's such a class act, bro. He got his son with him. You know what I'm saying? He's going back to L.A. where he – I'm just going to be real with y'all. He took L.A. to the promised land. Dwight Howard took L.A. to the promised land. And I told y'all last year, I told y'all last year, listen, without Dwight Howard, they're not going to win. I told y'all that, and they didn't. Went without Dwight Howard. Now they're going to get him back. Great decision. Okay, got it. What do you mean, bro? This man right here, look at him. Dwight Howard, he's the guy. Did you write the speech? No, I didn't write. This is real. This is, this is, this is real. You know what I'm saying? I just... I just think that we undervalue what he brings to the league and what he do for the league. You know what I'm saying? What he do for teams. And I'm telling y'all, I'm telling y'all, right now, right now, the two most important people on Los Angeles Lakers is not LeBron James and, D and uh, AD. They going to do what they do. They going to do what they do. But the most important people on that Los Angeles team is going to be that second unit. I don't like what you're saying, but... Be honest, then, picking up power was a very smart move this year. It was. It was. So now, it's going to be the one-two punch. And I'm, I'm, and this is real. Feel this. When Russell Westbrook had, uh, what's the dude? I can't think of the white dude name he had in OKC, right? Finishing around the room. I can't think of long black hair. I can't think of dude name. Um, but whatever dude his name. Um, something Adam. Something Adam. I can't think of his first name. Adam something. Yeah, at Adam, uh, uh, Rise, Rise always on point. Um, Stephen Adam, there you go, Stephen Adam, Stephen Adam. Russell Westbrook 
and Steven Adler were they were a tantrum. Like you couldn't you couldn't stop that duo, right? That duo was enough to get OKC and they had little pieces around the right, but that duo was enough to get them in the playoffs. Dwight Howard is basically the same thing. He gonna finish around the rim. Russell Westbrook gonna be able to drop that ball off to Dwight Howard. Something they didn't do last year. The reason they did not win against the Bucks. Because that second unit did not pass that ball to Dwight Howard, bro. On no fast breaks for the easy lobs, the easy point, they did not get that ball to Dwight Howard. Russell Westbrook will get Dwight Howard the ball, bro, because he wants the assist. And that's why they're going to win the championship. This man right here. This man right here, single-handedly, bro. Not LeBron, not AD. Dwight Howard will be the key. No say it, man. Look at my guy. Bring the, bring the goat back, man. Bring the goat back, bro. I said it before in my, in my chat, in my stream, my live streams. Bro, I really, for my birthday next year. Bro, we gonna spam Dwight Howard up and give him to my chat, bro. We're going to get Dwight Howard in my chat, bro. That's all I want. We're going to spam Dwight Howard up on Twitter, and we're going to get Dwight Howard in my chat. Electric, bro. Pure electric, bro. Looking at this man, how can we hate on him? You telling this son, hey, you next up, bro. This is you. You next up. Why ain't this being covered? Why ain't this everywhere? Shout out to the white, bro. Shout out to the white, man.